Carly, thank you. Looking ahead, family and friends will remember the life of former U.S. Senator Kay Hagan today. Her funeral is this afternoon at First Presbyterian Church in Greensboro. There will be a visitation after the service at the Mullen Life Center. Hagan was the first female Democrat to represent North Carolina in the U.S. Senate. She was elected in 2008 and served one term. Hagan died on Monday at the age of 66. And today is also the funeral for Ron Barger, the former Forsyth County Sheriff. The service will be at Wake Chapel at Wake Forest University. Barger spent 28 years with the Sheriff's Department. He was Sheriff from 1990 to 2002. And we will bring you live coverage of those services for Ron Barger and Kay Hagan. You can watch them live on WXI 12's Facebook page. We also have reports from both services on WXI 12 News tonight starting at 6. And today is the 40th anniversary of the Greensboro Massacre. There is a memorial service this morning at 10 at Faith Community Church in honor to in honor to honor five members of the Communist Workers Party and killed on this day in 1979 by Klansmen and Nazis. Recently, faith leaders representing the black community called on the city to apologize for its role in the attack. City leaders have not given a public response. Well, ahead of today's service, one woman says she still fears for her safety 40 years later, our Bill O'Neill shares her story. This woman says the children and grandchildren of Nazis and Klansmen who carried out the Greensboro massacre live in fear today. Every time that story is back in the news. All I remember is Cardinal telling me to run and I started running and then I heard shots. D, who asked that we not reveal her identity, says she was 14 years old when her family, then associated with Klansmen and Nazis, brought her to the Greensboro protest. 40 years later, she says she wants the events of that day to go away. I'm coming to you because of the children that was involved that has to live with this. We live with it every day. And I don't understand why they want to keep bringing it up after almost 40 years, because we've moved on in our lives. I mean, the people that did this horrible crime, they're no longer here. They're dead or they've moved on. Dee says she went on to marry one of the Nazis involved in the massacre, a man known as Cardinal, a man she divorced more than 20 years ago. Now in her mid-50s, Dee says she has abandoned the beliefs held by Nazis and Klansmen years ago, but says those groups remain active today in the triad. Do you feel threatened today? Um, yes, I do. From who? Where is this threat coming from? There's just one still living that I know of, and he's alive and doing well as far as I know. And he's a former Nazi? Or, yes, Nazi. Or is he still a Nazi? Uh, he's still a Nazi. He'll be a Nazi till the day he dies. And they not only were not there, uh, they didn't show up until all of this was over. So we're asking the city not to be childish about this. Dee says she agrees with claims made a week ago by Greensboro clergy that police knew the Klan and Nazis would confront protesters on November 3rd, 1979, but says she didn't expect an armed confrontation. Among their claims is the fact that the city and the police all knew that the Klan and the Nazis were planning to attack the, uh, the protesters. Is that your memory of it as well? My, my memory is the attack was planned last minute. They did know, the, the police and everything did know that the Klan and Nazis was gonna come and protest. But as far as I remember and I've heard, they did not know there was gonna be a gun battle. They thought they would be unarmed. Dee says she fears both sides of the Greensboro massacre the Klan and Nazis, as well as the protesters who were part of the then Communist Workers Party. Could you tell me how, you, how it puts you at risk? The Klan is still active. The Nazis are still active. They just dress like we do. But they are still here. And bringing it up, the Communist Workers Party, they're subject to try to get even with our children, our grandchildren. Most of all, Dee says she fears her former husband. Why talk to us today then? Are you not concerned that he will hear that you've talked to the media? I don't care anymore. I don't care. I want to protect my children and my grandchildren. They have no knowledge of what happened. Dee says she wants this story to go away, but faith leaders say the city needs to confess for what it did 40 years ago and apologize in order for this community to move beyond what happened. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill.
WXII 12 News.